Welcome to Real Estate IQ Wisdom for Smart Moves. Featuring Geraldine Serrano, a specialty tax consultant from Veritax Advisors. Uh, where do you see cost segregation headed in the next decade? I see it still being a tax strategy, but I also see that more investors are going to be aware of this tax strategy and more CPAs are going to be recommending it because if a real estate investor hears about cost segregation through someone else and not through their CPA, the first person they get upset with is their CPA. And then it's not unusual for my client to ask me to recommend a, another CPA. And so the CPA, that CPA is going to lose business. So it's in their best interest to know about cost segregation and know how to implement the results into that, into their client's tax return. So I see more investors and CPAs educated and using cost segregation. And unlike the 1031 exchange where there's been a lot of talk about getting rid of it, there hasn't been any talk about getting rid of cost segregation. If anything, the tax laws were benefiting the taxpayers recently. So I just see there being more laws um, benefiting the real estate investors with the cost segregation study. And what I mean by that is in 2017, the tax laws changed regarding bonus depreciation. It stated that if you've purchased or newly constructed a property after September 27th, 2017, mm -hmm you that property got a hundred percent bonus depreciation so what that means is instead of waiting five or 15 years to get that accelerated depreciation you got all of it a hundred percent of it immediately that you could use to reduce your tax liability now now that's if you've purchased a property after september 27 2017 and before the end of last year starting this year that 100% decreased by 20%. So what that means is you don't get 100% of it, you get 80% of that total accelerated depreciation. It's going to continue to decrease 20% until it hits zero in 2027, mm. right? So for now, right, with that tax loss change, change in 2017, then it's going to end in 2027. Right, it's gonna be hit zero. However, it's still going, even if we didn't have that change in bonus depreciation, cost segregation was still around and it still was benefited real estate investors. So even with cost segregation, with, even though there wouldn't be bonus depreciation unless the tax laws change again in 2027, it, I see cost segregation still being available so that these real estate investors can still take advantage of it. I just see what I was saying earlier that more investors and CPAs are going to be aware of cost segregation and will implement it if it makes sense for them, which is unlike today. A lot of investors like this show, they're, they're self-taught they do their research and they hear, like for example, I got a client that heard about cost segregation by being on bigger pockets, mm. right? But he, the reason why he was referred to me is he asked his partner on one of his real estate investments to get a recommendation and his CPA recommended me. So these investors through the different networking circles they have, the different real estate investors they're around, or the research that they do online, that's how they've been learning about cost segregation. But the more and more investors that know about cost segregation, that word's going to get out. I was referred to an investor that is from Silicon Valley. He joined an all-male real estate investment group. It's an, this group is nationwide. And from him, after working with him and all, 
and doing cost segregation on all his real estate investments, they have their pods, different pods of four male investors all over the country. And they also have their forums where they could post questions. Well, from there, my name got tossed around. So I've worked with these male and real estate investors that are scattered all over the country. So I just feel that the more investors do cost segregation, know about it and spread the word and, and puts the CPA in this situation. And I don't wanna say that C, not all CPAs don't recommend cost segregation or don't bring it up. Half of my business comes from tax CPAs. So there are the CPAs that know about cost segregation and would recommend it. We just need the other half to bring it up and make sure that their clients are aware of this tax strategy and can use it. That's very interesting. Check the full episode on our YouTube channel and on Apple Podcast.